So today's tarot message is choose to empower yourself. And this says, today's lesson, this is a day to practice the power of choice. Choose the quality of mood you want. That is, whether you'll adopt a positive or negative attitude. The choice is up to you. Your goal is to realize that you have the ability to enhance your life each day. Yes, you know, they always say that our whatever we think is our reality. So it is time to start choosing to empower yourself. Because when we sit in that negative energy and play victim, we are disempowering ourselves. So it's time to empower yourself, be confident, and go after what you want, and know that you deserve it. So let's get some tarot on this card. So we have the Eight of Swords, which is all about being feeling restricted and feeling trapped. We've been getting this card a lot. So let's see what it's with. We have the Nine of Wands, which represents strength, resilience, and perseverance. So this represents a period of struggle. But this combination reminds us that we have the resilience and strength to overcome any obstacle by working through our limiting beliefs and pushing forward. We can emerge stronger and more powerful than ever before. Reminds, it reminds us to never give up. And even when facing overwhelming odds, there's always a way forward. It takes a little bit of grit and determination to discover it. So let's get some advice from Spirit in the Universe. So we have Judgment, a very powerful card. It's a major arcana. It's about rebirth and awakening. And we have it combined with Justice, another major arcana, which signifies balance, fairness, and truth. So these two cards together, Judgment, the, you're being asked to make a significant change in life and begin a new chapter. You're being called to do careful consideration and reflection here and being honest and considering your actions that you've taken up to now and to do that deep dive within. But there's something here that, you know, maybe you have experienced some kind of karma um, and taking those lessons from it and also taking responsibility for our part of the situation as well. So let's take a look at the bottom. So on the, on the bottom, we have the five of pentacles. So this is lack in that lack mindset, you know, and I feel like this is the energy too of, you know, we, we, um, let's check the other one too. Oh, wow, we have an emperor, yeah. So see, this again, the emperor is somebody that's an authority. He takes responsibility for what he's done. He owns it, right? And he he's not in that lack mindset. He knows that all things that happen, happen for a reason. And sometimes we have to go through those struggles to be able to um, get to success. So again, I feel like this is a deep dive, taking responsibility for things. Because, you know, we, we um, the eight of swords energy where we feel trapped or restricted is is within our thought process. So we have to take responsibility for our own thoughts and how we see situations. So there's some energy here to empower yourself. We do have that emperor again. So, you know, empower yourself and stop playing victim as well as realizing that we are magical. We have everything within us that we need and we have to stop putting our eggs in someone else's basket and expect the world to give us you know things we have to work for things we have to work for it but we have the ability to do so so it's time to empower yourself here and um you know free yourself from those shackles and change that you feel restricted within you know you've been through a lot you've been through all the karmic lessons you've gained all that wisdom so it's time to take that power back in your hands and work your magic so thanks so much for watching in spiritual journey take care